This Military Makeover is presented by ABC Supply. <sighs> the ladies gotta arrive in style. Now let's get to work. Being married to Lacey Evans is just fun. Never a dull moment. From the time we wake up, uh, it's always just go, 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 push, be a better person. I'm ready to work myself. What kind of projects we got, man? We just finished the tile here on the fireplace. Okay. We're doing a custom exhaust hood. Let me show you. We're gonna use this same tile and wrap the whole hood. We'll get the Dura Rock on real quick, and then uh, you can tile that, because after that, we gotta go out on the porch, and the whole porch is getting a pebble stone. Lacey Evans, tile extraordinaire, I can do anything. Are you taking my husband with you? I am, you might not get him back. Yeah, right. Bring me that pile of tile, let's go. Always great on the start of a brand new day here on Military Makeover. I like to start off with a little Chick-fil-A breakfast. It's a busy day. We're halfway through the makeover at this point. We've got a ton of people here, volunteers, all of our companies that have shown up. We've got landscaping going in. Scott stepped up in a big way, gave us all sorts of landscape materials. Hey, our friends at Yoli are over here. You've got the whole hydration station happening here. Yoli is giving a fantastic gift of a year of nutritional support to Debbie and Corey. This is the best part of the makeover when you see all of these amazing teams of people that come together. How's everybody doing over here? All right. Oh, thank you, Patty. Yeah, so let's go inside. There's a ton of work that's happening here. Obviously, this beautiful design of the new fireplaces here. When you're talking about design, we're talking about one person and one person only, our very own Jennifer Bertrand, looking lovely in rose thank today. Thank you. This is I'm a lady. Yeah, <laughs> is that what it is? Okay, well, you look great. And this is looking great. What's going on? Slowly, you can start to see it, like tiling starting to show up. Lacey's going to help get the hood tiled. Okay. What well, do you well, think so far, though? I love it. I love the kitchen, everything. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Did you? I just heard the horn from the city For, furniture. Truck. Okay, I'm going to ditch you because that's my moment of glory. Right, I'm so you, excited. You do that. I'm going to find Ryan. I know he's going to ask me to do some work, so we'll uh, check in on him right now. Yeah, good painting. It already looks better. I love it. Oh, and the grass is in. Yay, this is so good. Today's the day that the furniture arrives, and for like, I finally feel like we're gonna get somewhere. It's not exactly the perfect scenario, though. Hello! I like smiley faces. You're the only ones who are smiling at me today. I'm so glad you're here, because honestly, city furniture is what's gonna make the house feel like a home, so I'm so excited. But let's see what great taste I have and get this unloaded. Wait, yes. I know you won't let me help carry it, so I'll just tell you where to put it. Yeah, it's my favorite day. I love this. Honestly, the fact that City Furniture is letting me do the whole house is what's gonna make Debbie feel like this is her home. But now I gotta go give him a place to put the furniture. Well, all of our new sod, our new landscaping has been installed. It's looking amazing. Hey, Manny, you're doing a great job. The paint looks amazing, doesn't it? And you look thirsty, bro. Uh, Yoli's got the hydration station over there for you. Um, speaking of hydration, all of this new landscape needs to be well watered and water watered perfectly, right? And you want to do that with our in-ground system with a new controller from Rachio. Johnny, great to have you here. This is a special system that's going to control all of our outside irrigation. Honored to be here and helping the Hickson family. It's going to save Debbie and the family a lot of time and ease of effort because we have their best interests in mind. are going to get, make sure that the water and all this beautiful vegetation that's being put down is taken care of. We wanted to provide Debbie and the family an easy option to be able to water her new gardens, her new vegetation, and not have to worry about it. It's one extra thing she just does not have to worry about. There's a good way to do that, and that's with having it controlled through an app, sort of like a fancy system, uh, one of those thermostats that you put inside your home. You can control it through your phone and an app, and this is the same type of system on the outside. The Retro Smart Sprinkler Controller uh, connects to our weather stations, is able to pinpoint what's going on weather-wise in Debbie's yard. So if it's gonna be raining, it'll actually skip those watering cycles. It is all app functionality, 
on your phone, on your tablet, or on your desktop, and you're able to easily uh, water and change your schedules and, and change your times of watering depending on the season. It's gonna conserve a lot of water for her and also save her a good bit of money. Debbie, as you know, is really environmentally conscious. So knowing that she is using the least amount of water possible to water in the most effective way is gonna be very happy for her, don't you think? Exactly, we, we see savings up to 50% ar across the country. So there's a lot of opportunity for her to save not only in her money and her water bill, but know that peace of mind that we're able to save that water and, and really uh, help her with what she cares about. Promise me you'll let me turn on the sprinklers when our director's sitting out front. Yes, sir. All right, awesome. Thanks, man. Take care. See you later, Johnny. Coming up, an unexpected guest arrives, so Montel and I spring the surprise. This military makeover is brought to you in part by Simon. Need to check in on my man Ryan, and there he is in exactly there the place are. I was hoping I'd find you. Uh, the roof, ABC Supply came through. The shingles are up, and how about the flat roof? Everything looks it's good. It's all finished. The roof is entirely finished. All we got left out is to get the solar panels back on. Putting the solar panels back on, easy job, hard job, how does that work? I mean, you definitely got to be a professional. It's something that, you know, you have to have the electrician, especially solar panel experts to do because you don't want to penetrate the roof and ruin what we just did. I'll let you get back to work, man. Great job, and I'll see you later, bud. All right, bud. Thank you. We always try to do more than just remodeling. Let's talk clothing and personal comfort with gifts from one of Debbie's favorite brands. This is actually one room too much sunshine, so let me close this. Okay, so first off, I want to thank you guys for being here because, um, that's actually how I start by telling you I'm gonna give you a project. <laughs> I compliment you, then I make you go work. But can I have two of you go do a wallpaper project for me? Of course. They're like, yes, no. Okay, it's in the front room. Thank you so much. No, honestly, we couldn't do these makeovers without warm, fuzzy companies like you. And the fact that you're here to support really means a lot. We're just proud to help the Hickson family and be involved with your program. Chris Hickson is a hero, and that should be noted and remembered. And so it's a real honor and privilege to be here. It's a family-owned company, and we were founded on five core values. Um, integrity, innovation, quality, a focus on the customer, and above all, emphasis on people. So Debbie's a giver, and we all know that givers don't want to accept, but you guys really hooked them up with some like active wear, which yeah. I know they're gonna love. So Debbie is a fan of Jockey, as we found out, and so um, she's worn it all her life, and we've brought a ton of product to fill their drawers and closets. They'll be comfortable for years to come. And taking care of his family, that is what Chris would want, so thank you very well, much. It's, we're, it's our honor, it's the least we could do, so we're happy to be a part of it. No, that's awesome, and you guys have always supported the military. We have, there's a rich history going back to the early 1900s of Jockey supporting the military, all the way to present day, and we have two veterans in our current campaign. So it means a lot to us to be here, so we're happy to help out and lend a hand and roll up our sleeves and get involved. You have been doing work all day, so thank I have. you. Yeah, you're and welcome. And that's how I nicely tell you to to, uh, finish your project. Keep going. Yes, I'm yes. on it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, so I'm sitting here in traffic at the Fort Lauderdale International Airport for a very good reason. On Military Makeover, we like to have little surprises along the way leading up to the big reveal. And this one is going to be fantastic. I'm going to pick up Natalie, who is Chris Hickson's sister. She's flying in to surprise Debbie and Corey at a very special luncheon that I've set up at our hotel. I almost got arrested a couple of oh, times. Oh, I'm sorry. So, no, it's Didn't okay. I get you arrested. <laughs> Story, yeah, well, well, exactly. So tell me about your relationship with Debbie. Well, Deb and I are, yes, she is technically, you know, my sister-in-law, but she is more of a sister than oh, a sister-in-law. That's nice to hear. Um, I know you miss him. Oh, I'm extremely proud of him. I knew my brother. I knew what he would do. Because that's just the kind of guy he was, right? Right. Those kids, all, I don't know. 4,000 of them, I don't know how many are at that school, I know there's a lot. Um, they're like his own kids, you know, and he's gonna treat them the same way. Coming up. Hey, you're Chris's youngest sister. Correct. Younger sister, yes. Right. And you spent some time in the military also, right? Correct. Correct. 
This Military Makeover is brought to you in part by Jockey. You're going to love Montel. He's a wonderful gentleman, and uh, he's our team leader, as you know. And he can't wait to talk to you about all kinds of things, how you feel about this makeover. So That's going to be great. Right in here. Thank you. Hey, Montel. Hi. This is so Natalie. Hard. Hi, Natalie. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Really nice to meet you. Come on over. This is going to be such a pleasant surprise. Thank you. Denny. I'll see you guys later. Yes, sir. Enjoy. Absolutely. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. She <laughs> is so excited. Debbie is so excited about the whole makeover process. And I want everybody at home to know that you're Chris's youngest sister. Correct. Younger sister, yes. Right. And you spent some time in the military also as uh, CTM too, right? Correct. I went in right out of high school. Did you? Yeah. Chris was my influence. Chris was already in the Navy. And mm -hmm. I was kind of a little sister I looked up to eldest brother. It had to have been close to a nightmare when you heard what happened, right? It was. Honestly, ironically, my cousin was out in Michigan at the time, but he was in and he's like, well, there's an incident in Florida. And I go, oh, what now? And he goes, well, there's a school shooting. He said, well, it's at Chris's school. And I said, oh, instantly I knew this is not going to end well for our family. He goes, Natalie, you can't think like that. I'm like, I know Chris said this is not going to end well. You just had this feeling. I just had this feeling knowing that. I mean, let me tell you, the number of people who have said that is just absolutely profound. I mean, you know, almost everybody said that the second that they heard that something had gone on, they thought about Chris. Right. And he was the kind of guy that would would run towards danger, right? Right. You know, right. that's his military. That's sure. our military. You know, we're not sure. going to. We're not gonna run away from it. I heard that you were you were in town the day that I came in and let Debbie know that they were picked, right? Correct, I was in town. I had Corey that day, so, and he was kind of upset. He goes, I wish I could have gone. I said, I would have taken you if we would have known. How did Debbie respond when she came home? She was like, I don't deserve this. I'm like, Debbie, you do deserve this. Mm -hmm. I said, he served our country for 27 years. He took his life on our own grounds mm -hmm. for these students, I said. It's, it'll be okay, yeah. so. So you're excited about our makeover? I am excited. I'm very happy and grateful for everything that you guys have done for them. And so, well, you know we're gonna give you a chance to surprise her right now. Okay. Cause she thinks she's coming over here for lunch, and, and so I'm gonna like bring you over to the table so you can talk to her. It'll All be right, great. awesome. Yeah. yeah, cause she doesn't know, and so it'll be a little belated birthday surprise for her as well. So it'll be oh. great. But well, it's look, really, to... thank you so much thank for your you service, for, for your having. service. Thank I you. mean that, okay? Thank a lot you. of people don't understand, and your family service. Thank you so much. Thank you. Coming up, support for the family and all our veterans inspires the makeover. And Montel and I spring our surprise. This military makeover is brought to you in part by My Computer Career. Our old friend the Gunny always said, the first person to help out a veteran is going to be another veteran. And that's ringing true here today. That flag represents what we have in this country. So it means an awful lot to me personally. It should mean the same to every American. Admiral Lynch. That was a beautiful right. moment. Thank you very much, Art. Thank yeah. you so much for being here. Now, many of us know you as the face of New Day, but you're also the chairman of New Day USA. Right. What does it mean for you as a Naval veteran to be connected to Chris Hickson and his ultimate sacrifice, even after he hung up the uniform? It's, uh, it's a tremendous uh, impact on me personally. Chris Hickson, his whole life has been one of selfless service. When we raised the flag here earlier on this front lawn, the Hickson family, I'm thinking Chris Hickson's up there looking down. What would he think right now? We have the opportunity to give back to a fellow veteran. There's not a better thing that we can do. And it's intrinsic, it's right here in our heart, and that's the way we believe at New Day. We are there to support veterans, and that's what we're all about. We're proud of everybody here, but you have to be proud of where New Day USA is now, uh, specializing in lending for veterans. No question about it. We, uh, 
We are the mortgage lender out there that's going to help that veteran. And uh, if we could possibly give that loan to the veteran, we're going to do it. And uh, so we, we work on individual case, individual account executive works with that veteran. They're not a number. They're not a FICO score. We look at the individual, the whole person. That's great. And uh, do whatever we can for that veteran. That, well, you're doing everything you can on this makeover, including a very special project in the backyard that you're working on. The family wanted something to remember him by, to have a memorial. So New Day stepped up and said, we're putting this memorial in the backyard. It talks about things that were part of his life that we heard from others. Selfless, man of integrity, courage, honesty, trustworthy, and made those uh, pillars back there so the family goes back and remember him as he should be remembered. But he is a hero in this country. Well, it's going to be a lovely place for Debbie to sit and reflect, uh, remember Chris. We're really grateful for a partner like you coming in here and, and spreading the word and, and helping our veterans out through the work that you do. We're privileged and honored and very proud to be here today. Admiral, thank you. Nice to meet you, Hart. Thank you very much. Hey, this is South Florida, and our team is really working up a sweat. Well, we're prepared. Our friends from Yoli set up a drink station with their delicious sports hydration products. Really great for our team and all of you out there. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Me, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Thank you. They promote endurance, stamina, and mental alertness. Add to that products designed to promote healthy body pH. Their system is designed to bring you toward optimal health. And in our case, they're looking out for the makeover team. There's salads. Well, welcome to Olivia's. Seuss. I'll be your server today. My name is Art. Hi, <laughs> how are you? What are you? <laughs> Debbie and Corey are here. I decided to disguise myself as a waiter and then let them know they don't need to look at the menu. We've got a special menu plan from a celebrity chef. Chef? Oh, it's Montel. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm not just surprising. I'm not a chef, but I did bring you a very special main course. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Deb didn't know I was coming, nor did Corey. It was a surprise to both of them. Um, it was just one of those wake up calls at 3 a.m. going, I need to get down there somehow, some way. <laughs> what are you doing? Came to see you. <laughs> oh my God. No way! No! <laughs> <laughs> Just to see Corey and Corey's reaction to it all was priceless. Oh, oh how great. Oh, that's awesome. When did this happen? Today. <laughs> we were excited, so special. Really Whoa. wanted to be able to share these great experiences with as many people as possible. And to have Natalie here um, is really, really special. All right, well, now you can enjoy lunch awesome. and catch up. Yeah, I can have lunch. Oh, thank you. How is that? You like that? That's amazing. You guys are Told so you awesome. special course. She's, awesome. She's the best. I'm just thankful for everything that the show has done for my family, and especially for Corey and Pat. Are you doing anything tonight? I am not doing anything tonight. Good, good. Do you got plans? Tell her she can stay with us. We have a big room. Our next episode is the last before the big reveal. Join us as the furniture gets staged, Chris's memorial gets finalized, the tables are set, and I end up washing dishes. All this and more on the next Military Makeover. <laughs>